Hello everybody, Ben Woodruff here, and in this video I'm going to be talking about one of the strangest parrots on Earth. But before we jump in, if you haven't already, if you could hit subscribe, I very much appreciate it. It helps me keep this channel up and going. So the bird we're talking about is called the Key. It lives in New Zealand on the South Island, and it's currently an endangered species as most native things in New Zealand are, uh, since people arrived and since uh, a lot of non-native animals arrived, caused a lot of problems. But the key is a survivor and it's very strange. It is a parrot, but when most people think of parrots, they picture something in their head like maybe a scarlet macaw, a big bright colored beautiful bird that uh, mostly eats fruit and nuts and seeds. Well, this is a strange one because this is very much an omnivore. So the key lives, first of all, in very high elevations in snow country. Uh, and it is often encountered by humans because uh, this high elevation snow country is where you have a lot of ski resorts as well. And so a lot of these people park to go skiing and then they end up encountering these keys. Now, keys are mischievous. They're very strange. Their beaks are oversized. And with the way that they live is they, just like any parrot, parrots like to tear things apart, but these guys intentionally target cars. They love to tear apart cars. They'll tear apart the antennas, the rubber lining around the windows. They love to tear that out and shred it. They'll even occasionally pop tires eating, and they'll eat off the, uh, the little valve stem on a tire and pop that and sh pull that out. Uh, they, they love to tear cars apart. They find great joy in it. Now, they're quite sociable and friendly around people as well, and they'll come very close to you and accept food from you. Now, to me, this seems very similar to ravens. We have ravens where I live here in Utah, and if you go to any area, like a national park, for example, then they'll congregate around there because they know the people are suckers and will give them food. And uh, sometimes these guys get very tame, and you can give raven food directly. It's the same thing with these keys. And interestingly, they also are omnivores, like I said earlier, and they like to scavenge, but they also like to hunt, which is ravens. Ravens are hunters and also scavengers. So what you have is in New Zealand, uh, a very limited number of animals were there originally that diversified out to fill many different ecological roles, including the role that normally would be fitted by ravens. So keys as omnivores are kind of strange because they're in higher elevation. So normally, again, we think of parrots eating fruit and seeds. These guys are normally, on the, in the plant world, they're eating a lot of roots. They're tearing apart the base of trees and eating roots. Uh, they also will eat meat. They will scavenge, but they will also hunt. They will eat things like roadkill, uh, you know, dead animals that are uh, sitting around. But they'll also eat other kinds of things, such as uh, live animals like rabbits and mice and insects. And there's even a type of bird called a shearwater that they will go and actually go into the nests and break into the nests and pull out the babies and eat them. So they're highly predatory. Now, there is reliable anecdotal evidence that keys will attack sheep, especially in the wintertime and especially when sheep are freshly shorn. Um, knowing that they are already an omnivore and that they are a meat eater, mo most parrots you know, once or twice a year while they're eating in a tree, they might eat a bug and get a little extra protein. But keys, it's a major part of their diet, <clears throat> which makes sense, especially in a cold environment. You're burning through calories quicker. You need a good food source with high protein and uh, scavenging and hunting allows that. But there does seem to be solid evidence that they do attack uh, sheep. They definitely scavenge and eat dead sheep but it seems that they may have made that connection and also will potentially hunt sheep. Now, the jury's out on this. It's hotly debated. Uh, a lot of conservationists are like, no, 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 they don't do that. And a lot of sheep ranchers say, yes, they absolutely do. But the sheep is not native to New Zealand. And so this shows the high intelligence. So not only are sheep not native to New Zealand, but neither are cars. And keys will, apparently will scavenge off of sheep and maybe hunt them and they will also tear apart cars. So they've adapted to things. They're very intelligent. Now in captivity, there's programs to captive breed them now. And actually at the Tracy Aviary, which is the, my local aviary, they do have a bunch of them and they are breeding them to boost their numbers worldwide. Uh, but the interesting thing about them is they've undergone a lot of persecution and 
they nest on the ground, which makes them susceptible to uh, mammalian predators that have been brought to New Zealand. They typically nest under trees. They will either find under, you know, kind of a rocky crevice, or they will uh, dig on their own and dig down in the dirt, or under the roots of trees where the roots kind of line up, they will kind of hollow that out a little further and dig under there and nest under there. So they are ground nesters, but they're, 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 they're are endangered and they definitely do need our protection, but they're holding their own because they're odd, they're strange and they're unique survivors. So I've had a chance to interact with them a little bit at the aviary and see just how intelligent they are. They're highly social. They typically live in groups of 13. They do not do well alone. They need to be together in groups doing things together. Most parrots are very social, but the key it's like a flock. It's just like a flock of ravens, again, very similar to ravens, hanging out together and doing their thing. So an absolutely fascinating species. Their coloration is not the brightest, but when they flare out, some of their underfeathers are brilliant. But other than that, most animals in, in New Zealand have kind of evolved and adapted to kind of have an olive green sort of look that blends into the lush landscapes all over. But again, anytime you have a parrot that lives in a snowy environment, it's something to take note of. So the key is one of my favorite species on earth, and I love them every time I get to see them at the aviary, and hope to get to be able to see them in the wild someday, because I think that would be absolutely thrilling. But again, uh, I think that it's important we remember that these birds do need our protection, they do need our conservation, and they need our understanding. And we also have to understand the fact that if they are causing sort of an ecological damage to, uh, sorry, not ecological, economical damage to sheep ranchers, uh, it's important that we don't turn a blind ear to those people either, because if they are killing sheep, then we need to find a way to remedy that problem without killing this endangered species. But we need to not turn a blind ear to the grievances of people who are having a financial loss. I always say, because I, I work with birds of prey, and I think about eagles. Well, eagles kill sheep. And people say, well, eagles are protected. And what can you do about it? Um, but those ranchers are like, they're literally eating my livelihood. It's like eating away my bank account. So you have to come up with alternative solutions. And what they've done in the United States, and they've tried to instigate a program where if eagles are eating sheep, falconers like myself with permits to keep eagles can be called up and say, hey, look, this eagle is killing the sheep. Uh, will you come take this eagle from this property and use it in falconry? That way the eagle is still alive, not being killed, but hopefully the damage is no longer being done to the sheep in that area. So uh, it's a little different in New Zealand, of course, but we always have to understand that there's more than one side to every story, and we should uh, be willing to be open and listen to that. But I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about the key. It's, again, it's a fascinating, beautiful, and highly unique species among parrots. It's weird to think of a parrot being a hunting animal. Uh, but always remember that life is a gift. So never stop learning and never stop exploring. We'll see you next time.